Are you wanting to feed raw food to your dog, but you don't know where to start? We get it. The whole thing can be daunting. How much will it cost? Where do I even shop? How do I pick the ingredients? Ah, the ingredients. That's where it starts. In the ancestral diet, you need to feed a combination of meat, bone, organs, seafood, and fiber. We'll link to this diagram in the notes below. Once you know what to buy, going out there to find it at the best price is the adventurous part. In this video, we're going to take you around some of our grocery stores here in San Diego and show you what to look for when buying your dog's food. Our first stop is our local Mexican butcher. If you have one in your city, this would be the first place to go. Chicken drumsticks are only 75 cents a pound. Beef and pork are also considerably cheaper here. We compared these prices to a budget-friendly grocery store, Food for Less, which in our town offered the next best prices. Chicken, even gizzards, beef and pork can be found for a price that is kind on the wallet. Although they didn't have a big seafood selection, we found sardines at rock bottom price. Next stop, our local Asian market, 99 Ranch. There you can find frozen fish, which you can ask the butcher to clean and quarter for you. Salmon, mackerel, capelin, anchovies are some of our favorite fish to buy here. But what's also amazing is that you can find the organs you need to feed your dog like liver and kidney. Got a small dog? Their duck feet and chicken feet are almost always stocked. We took a look at their chicken legs and wings. Although the prices were good, they were not as low as those at Food for Less and definitely not as low as those at the butcher. They did have some of the hard to find proteins like duck. This one comes from a regenerative farm. At $10 a pound, it's great to feed as a special treat once in a while or a necessity for dogs with allergies. You can also find exotic cuts of goat. This was also on the expensive side. Now let's move on over to the seafood section. Oysters, hands down, are your best source for zinc and mussels are great for manganese. These blue mussels are already cooked, unlike the oysters, which will either have to be dried or cooked before feeding. Next stop, Sprouts, which is a common health store in San Diego. The wild salmon from Alaska is great for dogs. We also like to look for lamb shanks, great bones for all size dogs. Sprouts also has liver, but it's considerably more than that at 99 Ranch. One bag will last a small dog over a month. We do like that they have calf liver, which you can feed on rotation. We like to see what other meat they have, such as organic grass-fed beef or bison. We like to note down the prices and buy it when it's on sale. Quick peek at the chicken thighs. Actually going to pick up a tray, not for the dogs, for the humans. And the chicken drumsticks we saw here here were the most expensive we've seen all day. Turkey's not always easy to find at the butcher shop or the budget grocery store. So now we're home and ready to start putting all of the food away. Today we bought enough food for three weeks for two 20 pound dogs and spent about $48. We bought beef, duck gizzards, duck feet, salmon, mussels, and oysters. The most expensive part of the meals are the seafood. First, we have to oil the grates and then we'll dry the feet at 155 degrees for 24 hours. Oiling the grates prevents the feet from sticking. These feet were $2 a pound, which is 50% off their normal price. Next, we'll take the beef we bought at the butcher shop and portion it out to what the dogs will eat in one day. For the duck gizzards, we store four per day. We like to mix the proteins the dogs eat, and we like one of them to be a muscular organ meat. Fresh fish for omega-3s are important to balance out omega-6 fatty acids. A small amount goes a long way and your dog can have up to 10% of fish in their meal every day. So now we'll put the meal together in the bowl. First, the duck feet go with the beef and the fish and the mussels too. For a 20 pound dog, they'll get two per meal per day. We're adding an egg for choline and iodine. For these small dogs, one a day is all they need. You can split it up if you feed them twice a day or decide to feed it for breakfast or dinner. I'm using the dried organ treats the beef liver, and pork kidney. About 80% of the moisture was lost during the drying time. A portion the size of half the paw is appropriate for the meal. Instead of adding a probiotic supplement, we're going to feed dried green tripe. Just like with the organs, a paw-sized portion is all that will go in this bowl. For fiber, we're using rabbit ears, and we're going to split this between the two of them. Fiber is great for the colon. Oysters have to be cooked. We're using hot boiling water to steam cook one oyster each. This will meet their zinc needs for the meal. And now their meal is ready. And the three weeks of food that we've prepared is packed and ready to go in the freezer. We hope you enjoyed our day of shopping, meat storage, and meal prep. Be sure to visit the article linked below and drop us any questions. Happy feeding.